Hello everyone. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So we have our little base. We set up this little poke shell uh, farming place. They're not tamed. We'll expand more on it in the future. But it's giving us a few of these shells. Poke shell molts. Which we are crushing into lime. Could I be doing other things with that? Wait a minute. Poke shell molt. It just says it can be crushed to make lime. That seems to be just the only use of it. And then this could be used for other things. Useful as a construction material. Anyway. We're going to figure that out. Our base is suddenly get much better when this natural gas geyser comes back up in another 14 cycles. That will fix all our power problems. We'll start accumulating more coal again. We have our ranching going. We do have a few um, baby animals that are growing up. and When they get older, we'll kill them for their meat. We've got ridiculous amounts of food in here. P tons of surf and turf and stuffed berry. And then a bunch of other stuff that's in the way on the way of becoming those things. And a few other things also. I am concerned about oxygen. So right now, it's like yesterday, a lot of our oxygen generation is still coming from this diffuser. This one diffuser right here. And it's going through algae. And we don't have that much more algae. We're about to use it all up. So... I'm a bit concerned, because this is backing up a little bit, it looks like. No, actually it's not. It's just taking some time to get there. These, if they were running full tilt, would be enough. That would meet our entire base's oxygen needs. But they're not. They're having to stop all the time, because cooling this down takes so much time. I'm wondering if perhaps I should not cool it as far. It's because it's taking a long time to cool down. If we were to, like, let it go up to, say, 28, then it won't be overheating our farms, and we'll just be relying more on this process, the water loop, to keep the base cool. I think I need to do that, just to get more latency, or reduce some of the latency between producing oxygen and getting it out into the base. It's a shame. I would much rather have cool oxygen. We might end up looking for a better way to do this in the future. But, um, yeah, we need to get some more oxygen out here. These, uh, this levels are down below a thousand. That's getting to the point where it's not bright blue anymore. So that's not good. Um, I'm still looking to make this place better. Um, I want to get rid of all this water and have, say, like, this area be a metal refinery that's the plan so they're still working it's just they're going pretty slow I could add a few more suits more docks like that anyway um, I think we actually would need to make some more suits for that, too. I don't think we have any. But we can check that out later. Uh, why is this all dead? Like, out of water again. These are so thirsty. They're so thirsty. They ate all the water in here. Or in one of these? These are still all full. Wait a minute. Why is... Oh! Oh! This is just... No, that's right. That's fine. Why isn't the water coming out? I don't know. Here, try getting rid of this. Maybe that will fix it? This gate isn't backwards. These are all... Well, this one's not empty. It's saying pipe blocked, though. Hmm. It doesn't look blocked. 
output there, input there. It seems simple. I'm not... Try rebuilding this bridge. I don't know. Sometimes weird things happen when you uh, quit the game and restart it. Try getting rid of that. Maybe it doesn't know which way to flow from here. But even then, then these would know where to go. Here, we missed a little bit right here. But even then, this isn't flowing out. Weird. I don't, I have no idea why this isn't working. We've got loops with clear directions to them. Not loops, they're um, bridges with clear directions to them. Is it not like this? This, sh this should be fine. Maybe it doesn't like that that's so close, but it's it's been feeding them before. It just doesn't work it now for some reason. Here, build this. No, still not good. Um, hmm, hmm. Get rid of that bridge. Because there's no reason why it shouldn't be going over here. No. I am utterly perplexed. Why is this not coming out? No liquid intake. That's fine. It doesn't need to have one. I'm just trying to drain it. Wait, now it's going. No, that's the wrong one. Um, just get rid of this entirely. Get rid of this bridge. No, I, I wanted to get so much work done and suddenly I'm getting all distracted by something I thought was fixed cycles and cycles ago. Alright, connect that without the bridge. Nope, still no good. I bet it's this this part here, these two bridges. Here, get rid of them. And disconnect directly. Come on. This is so peculiar. Okay, I cannot imagine why these are not working. Let's try deleting all these and we'll rebuild them and maybe that will fix it. Delete that. Yeah, this is perplexing. Okay. Go ahead and put him back. Try just one, maybe. Oh, we did it. It's connected. No. There we go. Try getting rid of that. Um... Does it need to have an intake? I can't imagine that. Here, just connect that. See what happens. So... Oh, I guess it has to have an intake. Even if it doesn't go anywhere.
That's bizarre. Maybe it, like, needs to recognize that it's part of a circuit or something? Otherwise, it won't even try to send water out. Bizarre. Okay. So we can put this bridge back. Yeah, I have no idea what the deal is with that one. I'm just gonna assume there's some mechanic I don't understand. This is the oil, right? Yeah, okay. Just making sure I don't drop that on our, our dupes. Oh, well. Okay. It's going again. It'll work itself out. Okay. That was not what I wanted to be doing right now. I want to be focusing on new printables. Uh, some sandstone. Sure. We only have 270 tons of it. What would we do with le without extra sandstone? So, even though this doesn't need to cool down as far, it still does take some time. But it's not saying we're not producing enough oxygen anymore, but it probably will once we get through our algae. Anyway, let's go ahead, keep working. Uh, what was the next step here? We're gonna keep on going down where there's angry guys. There's gotta be a better way to do this. <laughs> um. Okay, how about this? So we'll just build rows every four, like that. We're building up igneous rock. This is all granite. That's not the best idea. Good enough for now. Then we can start ripping stuff out. It'll take them a while to get that anyway. Deliver some suits, please, if we have any. Okay, I really want to get some metal production, but before we do that, let's use these shells. And I want to see what exactly I need. Because it said it needed lime, right? Uh, for, for the steel. What about the kiln? I guess that's the ceramic. Interesting. So, create some heat. Fire's clay to create ceramic. What's the deal with ceramic? Hard, brittle material formed. It's a reliable construction material with a really high melting point. Overheat temperature plus 200. I see. Yeah, I see the virtue of that. Okay. Yeah, let's get some kilns. So, do they need a dupe to work on them? Or is it just put stuff in and walk away and come back and get it later? I would imagine it's that. You just walk away and come back later. But I could be wrong. What was that? Ah, oh, that was that plant. Okay. Okay. 
Does it need power? Nope, they don't have an input. Interesting. We'll see how that works once those are built. Okay. Insufficient oxygen. We're still a little low, but that's fine. Do we have this water going now? Yeah, that's going. Good. How bizarre that it needs to have an input before it'll output its thing, even if the input doesn't do anything. We'll have to... I don't know. I never would have guessed that would happen. What are you guys coming down here for? Oh, to get the Paku. Look at them! It's just a bunch of babies now. They all died. And now they're all fry. Interesting. Okay. Um, how's this going? We don't have the actual uh, stuff yet. We just have the ground. I wonder if I should add those automated arms to avoid having to run up here. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. Just get one of these made so I can look at its recipes, please. This needs power. But they can just run in there. It's not a big deal. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, refined carbon also. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought we needed refined carbon from kilns, but it was saying only that it was about clay. So that used up coal, and we're burning through our coal right now to uh, keep our base powered. So let's not do anything with that. Let's just make some ceramic, which also uses coal, apparently. Here, go ahead. Make, make a bunch. Um... Like, is there other use for clay? Probably not. Yeah, just go ahead and build as much of it as you can, please. Alright. And... Up here again... Did we get these suits? No, we didn't. We need an exosuit forge. Let's go ahead and just make some. Where is it? Exosuit Forge. That's gonna need power. We never did make our fertilizer. <laughs> we'll do that. Um, so, that would be refinement, fertilizer synthesizer. Needs phosphorite, dirt, power, and polluted water in small amounts. We have some polluted water coming in down here, right? Yeah. Okay. And we'll run a pipe. Uh, no, I should run a insulated pipe. There we go. It doesn't consume, it doesn't output any water, just consumes it. That's interesting. Anyway, let's get some bridges. Okay, that should work. Okay, um, we don't have enough metal. That's the whole reason I'm having this issue. Yeah, I know. Go ahead, make some copper suits, and we'll just tell them to make a bunch of copper, please. Here, cancel this. Copper. Did we 
we get the table salt? Uh, we got a little bit. This this seat has table salt. Table salt plus one. One more morale when they have table salt. We'll need to crush some after this. Although, actually, we got a bunch of it right here. Huh. Okay. Um, this still isn't going. Ah. Uh, let's raise the priority. No, I shouldn't. I should. I probably should. Let's raise it up to six. Otherwise, nothing ever happens these days. Okay, and the forge is making some stuff, or it will be as soon as we get enough copper. This is still waiting on gold amalgam and the pipes to be made ready. And up here, we have some of the ladders are done. That's for the good. We can actually do some up here, too. I think I like this. This is kind of the edge of the Abyssalite, so we'll put it up to there. why I just duplicated that mistake, but that's okay. I'll let those two finish growing. They're so close. Get that tasty lettuce. Alright. Printables. More fungal spores. I only have 48. I don't think I've. No, actually, they are. We, did, we have been fighting them, so, sir, shine them eggs instead. Not that we have an immediate use for them, but, you know, maybe someday. All these eggs. That's gonna be helpful, I hope. You're an adult. Time for you to die. didn't give me forgiveness that time. Now I feel all sad. Interesting. We need to get rid of that. They made another smooth egg. Okay. Uh, that one's actually an adult too. Go ahead. Kill it. Or no, that's a hatch thing. Oh well. It gave me 3,200. So I bet we can kill them as hatch, as little guys. It doesn't matter. They give the same amount of meat, perhaps. Okay. This still isn't built. Get it built, please. These are still not doing anything. Or no, they are. They've made some ceramic. There we go. So that we can make some piping out of it. So let me just check this. So if we made if we made this out of igneous rock, that would be like that. If we were to make it out of sandstone, like that. Sedimentary, like this. And then ceramic. Which has overheat temperature plus 200, and it's an insulator. Retains heat because energy transfers slowly through materials with low thermal conductivity. Huh. We'll look at them in a moment. Ooh! Ooh! Are you... How hot is it up here? Uh... Yeah, it's pretty hot. 
Um, like, where's my nearest liquid loop? Right down here. Do I want to run this through my loop? Not really. Is it a good idea? Yes. Okay. Um, build a couple bridges um, right here. Well, we'll have one coming back right here. And then we'll have one going out like there. Um, let's see. Maybe like this. Don't build it yet. There. And we'll add some bridges at various key locations. That's fine. So it's going to be coming back this way. Like that. Disable this bridge, please. Well, wait, we'll wait for this to get built, I suppose. Because we're going to need some scaffolding out this way. Okay, and I wanted to look at these different things. So, for comparison, ceramic has a melting point of 1849. And a thermal conductivity of 0 .01, 0 0.019, whereas the other insulated pipes are 0 0.09, so that's compared to sandstone. Sedimentary is 0 0.06. Interesting. I've been using I've been using sand sedimentary for my liquid pipes because I thought that they would be have more conductivity. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should have been building them all from sandstone. And the igneous rock is kind of the same as the sediment as the sediment terrain. Except for the specific heat capacity is all of this. Uh, that's why we're it kinda doesn't matter though. It's not about the specific heat capacity, that's just how much heat it holds. It's about how quickly it sheds the heat that I kind of care about. Yeah. Okay, get rid of all that. So, when we deal with hot things, we definitely want this. We want to use ceramic everywhere. Or, this. Just because of that high melting point and the low thermal conductivity. But we don't need it for this. This is like room temperature stuff. I'm talking about when we're starting the smelts things. Uh, or deal with volcanic... Volcanic levels of heat. Alright. Um, how is this going up here? It's not going at all! How disappointing! Come on, guys. Let's add some priorities there. Like, all of this. All of it all. Just get it up. Get it going. Only a few people can even go in at a time, so... Might as well have people focused on getting stuff done. Well, maybe that was the worst time to have that happen. Anyway. Yeah, we can't seem to fix this one. <laughs> okay, we finally have our fertilizer thing going. Weighing delivery of dirt. Interesting.
I didn't even know this screen was available. So we have... Interesting. Anyway. So you're making fertilizers. I guess I... No, we're storing fertilizer right there. That's, that's not that big of a run. I'm happy with this, leaving that. What about the polluted water? Is it getting in there? Yeah, it seems fine. It's just waiting for phosphorite. So maybe I should make a, a phosphorite bin right here. And dirt. Sure. So dirt, phosphorite. Bunch of rocks. It's strange that they decide to build these first, even though I guess because they're they're testing the distance between where they are down there, not the route they have to go by. So they don't go the, from the top. Anyway. Alright. So is this... It's still not working. Unreachable builds because you're not building them. What are my guys up to all this time? You're ranching. You're expressing yourself. You're cooking. What about yesterday? It seems like we never get... Like 28% of your time is work. Really? And all the rest of it's running around. That's a terrible rate. What's Tinker? I don't even know what that is. They're spending a lot of time doing it. I don't know. That must be the guys dealing with the, the power plants. Which is a worthwhile doing. And I wonder what Pondering is too. Interesting. We need to get our work time up. That's a, that's a terrible rate. We just, um, so we did, what did we do? We, we said to make a bunch of... What's most of our travel time spent doing? Fabrication supply to Otto, to Ren, to Banhi. Huh. Fabrication supply. What is fabrication supply? Is it... When you do this? Maybe it's when they're delivering stuff up here? To these things? Yeah, what are you doing right now? You are storing coal. Fabrication supply to kiln. Yep. That's what that takes. Let's lower the priority of this again. We don't want everyone spending all their time just running around getting stuff up here. And maybe have one of them make refined coal instead. Refined carbon. It doesn't take very long. It's pretty fast. Maybe I don't need all of these. That's a bit of a waste, perhaps. Yeah, let's turn turn that off. We're just making more and more jobs. So we'll have two making ceramic. We'll have well I'll have three making ceramic, perhaps. So those three are ceramic. This one's refined carbon. And now we can stop having the entire base running back and forth looking for coal. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to cut this out a bit. Yeah, I overestimated the need for these. I thought it was a longer recipe. But it is not. This is almost back. Six more cycles. I could just take advantage of this one. Although, because it's apparently available now. I just It's just over pressure. But, that'd be too easy. What is that? 
long hair larva grows into a long hair slickster, eats oxygen, and does what? Does nothing? It just improves decor? Yeah, all it does is eat oxygen. Hey, guess what? We don't take kindly to that kind of attitude around here. Now, you were saying that you were hot. Toasty surroundings. But it's not hot down here. Or maybe it is kind of hot down here. Never mind. We don't care about this part. This is the part we're keeping nice and cool. And this is a lovely green. Remember when it was all yellow? And now we have our, our great little uh, loop. Which is keeping it all nice and green. There we go. We finally cut all the way down. Maybe get some of this water out of here. Here, maybe make this a little wider. <laughs> it's weird seeing that sort of odd undulating breath of air going up. Yeah, we're not producing oxygen at a high enough rate for all four of them to go, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Are we actually producing any fertilizer? We are. And this is producing some heat? It is. But I'm gonna trust. I'm, even though we're not cooling this directly, I'm just gonna let it go. So we want some phosphorite. I know we've got a ton of it. Here, why not put only 10,000? And a bit of dirt. Uh, they're not. We need more table salt. It seems like they go through table salt really quickly. Anyway, never mind, never mind. We need to get this going. Look at this, all the water is going away. Perfect. Wonderful. Ninety nine percent. As soon as they go, as soon as they pop, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, uproot them right away, because they're in the way. There we go, harvest ready. Get it. High priority. Very high priority. Somebody come and get it. Dupes, make this happen. Sorry, I shouldn't yell. I mean, I'll, I'll check back. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like nothing happens anymore. I really need to figure out what the problem is. It's just that it takes too long to get around. I mean, we're building further out from the center of our base now. Is there things we can do to not? spend time down here like I think the only person that needs to come down here should be the guy that's fixing these generators or those generators everything else just happened on automatic 
except for delivering to down here and picking up Paku and giving sand to these occasionally. But other than that, Okay, so that seems fine. We're not doing anything over here. They never come to this area except for when they need. It's all in this this area right here. This is where everybody is. Or they're up to the right in the new area. They're getting food. Delivering food. So, we have a lot of food. We could maybe make it so only Max can come in here. That way, we're not pulling people off. So Max has access to this room. Nobody else does. So he has to do all the food hauling. That might keep people from running back here just because it's high priority or something. I kind of want these not to come in here. Let's say that only, only Bonhi can come in here. Because she's... And maybe the new guy. Otto, you can come in here too. Uh, we already have requirements to get in here. Nobody else wants to come in here. These pinch of peppers. But we can make that kind of the same. Who is our farmer? Uh, skills... So Devin is our farmer. So let's make it so only Devin can come inside here. He'll have to do all the food hauling too. I'm just trying to maybe prevent them from going way over there and then getting a high priority job down here and then have to go way over here and come back and do all that sorts of loops. I know, long commutes, it's a problem. Especially because we're working like way across the map. That's okay. It's all right. Here, I'm get rid of this top layer now. Just for symmetry. They got it. Good. Get rid of that. Get rid of all these. I'm going to build a door, a thing right there, because otherwise I'm going to screw up and get water in this area. I know I will. <laughs> uh, maybe it means I need to build a couple more ladders just to make sure they can get around it. How close are these? I hate to uproot something that close. It's above 90. Or above 80. Nah, it doesn't matter. Uh, we didn't build ladders up here. Ninety-seven percent. I'm gonna leave it. We can let that sit for a, for a couple cycles, and just no, we don't need the lettuce. Ah, it's it's. <laughs> uh, I don't need it. Get rid of it. Uh, we cut off our access somehow because I didn't build this ladder right.
Okay. Alright. So... This is almost back. Three more cycles. Uh, I think I'm going to stop doing this. Don't auto-tune this anymore. So, disable this. And these coal generators, I'm going to say, they're only going to turn on at zero, and they're going to stop at 20. 25. And hopefully these are going to be, like, super backup, and everything else will come ahead of it. And there should be plenty of other stuff. They're still bringing stuff way down here. What were you doing down here? You're storing... You're bringing stuff to compost. And storing a hatchling egg. That was dropped right here. Fair enough. That's fine. Principles. Punch of algae. That will delay our oxygen problems for uh, another couple cycles. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't go into the abyssalite. Oh. I think you got some already. Maybe. I didn't mean to take that away. I guess we don't really need those. <laughs> Let's just extend this all the way down to here, instead of having to maintain this bit. We almost got all rid of all the water. Like, this is big enough space to actually do what I'm looking to do. I just want to make it a little cleaner down here. We'll just get rid of a few more of these rows, and then we'll have plenty of room. Well done, Stinky. You almost killed yourself. <laughs> okay. So, let's start planning this out. Um, we're going to have a box. We're going to have a steam engine, maybe two, at the top. Made out of... Wow, it needs 800. Oh, we've got plenty of plastic. Okay, we're going to have a steam engine at the top. Um, we're not going to actually place that yet. That's just for demonstration purposes. So we're going to have like a big box under it full of water, or at least with a bit of water in it. Now, we're not going to make it the same sort of setup as we had over here. In this, the whole point of it <clears throat> was that we were trying to cool water down further, all the way down to 20. So we needed to use an aqua tuner. Otherwise, because we couldn't do passive heat transfer. There was never going to be something that was lower than 20 that we could transfer food, uh, transfer uh, heat into. But up here, as soon as it gets to 125, it'll tr be able to turn into to, to nothing, to go away. So we're going to have a pool of steam at 125. And as long as we're happy with having things cool down to no more than, uh, no less than 125, then we don't need an aqua tuner. Uh, what's this uh, melting point? 1,000, so we are going to need to make sure this doesn't get too hot. So, but I think that'll be okay. I think that's not going to be a problem. Instead, we'll have a, like I said, bunch of steam right here, and then we'll have 
some of these guys, the metal refineries. And these take some liquid and give some liquid that's hotter. Significantly heats and outputs the liquid piped into it without changing it at all. Just heats it up. That's what we saw before. This has a fairly high melting point too. And we'll use ceramic pipes to make that go smoother. These are a little gonna be annoying to deal with. We should put another just in our row of scaffolding right here. As useless as it is. Maybe we don't need it. I just interrupt stinky every now and then. <laughs> Then he has to go. Too bad. He was doing some good work for us. All right. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I sh what I should be doing. Uh, it would be nice to have more metal so I could actually place stuff. So make some more gold, Malcolm. Gold, please. I know this is the whole reason we're doing this, but, you know, we do what we can. Alright. Um, so... Come on. There we go. Game gets a little laggy on the new cycles. So this at the top, let's just assume that it's gonna, let's see, it takes five slots. We can just assume it's gonna be those five slots. It's gonna be right there. Maybe we'll have a second one too. So those five slots also. And we'll need a power station on top of it, or near it. So that will be those two. This will be a door. This is size four, I believe. Let me see. The power control station. Yeah, it's size four. And then that can be like this. Or is, is this size four also? Let me see. Sorry, I should know these things, but I don't. So, yes, it's size three. So that's fine. And we can have a battery right between them. Right there. So this will be our power room. Okay, and we'll want like automation and things. Below it, we're gonna have the, the cooling chamber and I wanna make it fairly large cause I wanna run a bunch of pipes through it. And we'll wanna pump in a bunch of hydrogen at some point. Right now it's just a mess, a mishmash of very light lightly done material uh, gases so we'll pump that out maybe four big I kind of like that and we'll put a door on it at first but eventually we're gonna lock it it's treat it's glowing like it's accessible but it's not that's lies So that door will eventually be locked, but for now it's fine. Um, that means... Mm -hmm. Do I want to put a gate here instead? That way we can make this vacuum um, and then get the pieces out. Sure, we'll do it that way. So we'll put a little vacuum lock on it. Not vacuum, a little... Um, water lock that we can then remove. 
that'll work fine. Go ahead, put a uh, bottle emptier right there. We're gonna need to fill this with water anyway. Not necessarily to the top, but a decent amount. And we're not gonna rely on um, transferring to a different liquid like we are here, because this can stay, we're not worried about this turning into, um, just, well. So the thing we're gonna put through our pipes can't be water, cause it's gonna get too hot. It'll have to be oil or something else of that sort. Probably oil. Oil goes really hot, right? Ah, vaporizes at 399. That's not as hot as I thought it could. What else do I got? Uh, salt water, 99. That's no good at all. No, I think crude oil is the best we can do. Maybe we could refine it into something else. Uh, liquids. So... Ethanol. Ethanol turns into gas at 78. That's worse. What about... Uh, magma? I'm sure that will get hot. But it gets... Actually, no. It turns into a solid pretty low. Or pretty... Well. Lower than... Uh, higher than I want my things to get to. <laughs> Molten copper? Again, turns into a solid too soon. I'm aiming for something like in the 500 range. And crude oil is not too bad from that, but I I wish it could get a little hotter. Mm. Methane? No, that's lower. That's actually cold. That's cooled natural gas. Uh, naphtha. Naphtha gets hot. Yeah, that's nice. It's, um, burning plastic. So we could use that, we could melt plastic to get naphtha. And it potentially turn it into sour gas. Interesting. Uh, petroleum, maybe. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where were we? Back to liquids. We didn't get to petroleum. Petroleum goes up to 530. That's good, too. So, yeah, it's that's refined crude oil. We could do that. What about other things? Super coolant. That sounds useful. Uh, no, gas at 400. Propane? That's that's gas. Biscuit gel is uh, naphtha, apparently. It turns into another liquid at 479. Interesting. I I'm not sure what to do about think about that. So the idea is that we would melt plastic and then it would turn in why would it turn into it says it turns into sour gla sour gas I guess this this turns into naphtha this naphtha doesn't turn into this anyway I'm thinking oil will be fine we'll just have to make sure we keep it fairly low not let it get up to 500 like I was thinking we'd be able to okay um, we don't need that. Don't need that, or that, or any of this. We can go ahead and keep cutting this away. I actually can't get to the edge of the map, so it's a little tricky. The text is in the way. <laughs> We're actually going further to right than we need to, but that's fine. We're just making room for water. No, 
Okay. Alright, so now what? Um, we're gonna have a cooling chamber in here. Uh, we'll run a bunch of pipes through it, and then... Uh, what about these reservoirs? What do they melt at? Like, should I put one of them in there? Melts at a thousand. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work fine. Okay. So we'll put a... We'll put a reservoir in here that will cool down the oil. And it will just keep running it through here until it's cold enough. And this will be superheated steam that will slowly get eaten away by the steam engines that we're making up there. And then we're going to have... Um, we're going to have oil coming down from there at more than 125 still, but uh, it won't be continually heating up. I think that'll work. I'm liking this. It's uh, working in the direction, in positive directions. Uh, you need a ladder to get up to this. Okay. Um, we'll put pipes in here later. Below the pipes, uh, we'll have the actual metal refineries. And we'll just do like a row of them, I guess. So they just need regular stuff. What is their melting point? Uh, if we may come out of... We could make them out of ceramic, but I'm assuming that's not going to be necessary. If we made them out of granite, they'll be fine if we keep it below 660. And someone needs to work on this, so probably we don't want it to be more than 660 anyway. I think we're going to have to have suits on for this, um, rather than being in one of the places where we could undress and uh, just sit there working on it. Which means we're going to need more O2 than we're putting in there right now. That's a concern. New printables. Uh, we already have plenty of Slickster larvae. I'm going to go ahead and switch, get some water. Although we don't technically need that much either. Although apparently there's not that much water accessible to us. Where are we getting our water? Right here. And yeah, we kind of... Because of the way this is shaped, there's less water available. Um, we could fix that a little bit, perhaps. Okay, leave that one alone. Just don't mess with it. Nobody wants to do it. That's fine. It'll get done eventually. I'm still seeing dupes coming down here all the time. Like, whenever I look around, I guess they're picking up a granite and eventually... Okay, long hairs are useless. Get rid of them. I think that looks hilarious. Look at them. I like the look. Here, maybe mop it up. Nah, we don't need to mop it up. Never mind. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. There we go. They've almost done the thing I want them to do. There we go. Now there's no water at all. That was... That was not the plan. But that's okay. Uh, we can rebuild it. We have the technology.
There, we just put this right there. At a fairly high priority. And now we'll have plenty of water. It might be polluted water, in which case we'll have to just dump it right out again. But that's fine. Okay, up here. Way up here. That's an odd looking thing right there. There's a lot of water on that one little rock. This still isn't done. Not enough oxygen. Plenty of oxygen here. We're just, we've used up the store. Uh, hopefully that will work. Like they will combine. Maybe I need to Let's get rid of this pipe. You're sick. You've got slime lung. I'm sorry, Stinky. Like that. Might help. Here, up this priorities. Get it all built. Okay, so down here, and I'm I'm worried about the heat. I'm worried about the heat on all of this. So maybe I need to have as part of our cooling loop going up here and going down there. But that's that's I can't really place it until I have enough stuff. Maybe I have enough. Let me check. Let's see. So we are going to need the steam engine. We're going to need, if nothing else, like if, if we just want to leave this alone, we're going to need a, a wheel to run on. Uh, this needs to be a lock. We can get that to work. Uh, just in terms of planning, we need at least one of these metal refineries. And I'm not quite sure how, I, how closely I want to place them together. I'm thinking I'm going to have them share share a loop. So let's leave a little room for for stuff to go wrong, you know? Maybe maybe that much. Okay. And we'll put them in a box like this. That will allow scaffolding to go above them which we'll eventually get rid of, maybe. This is the, kind of the official ending of the building once we uh, finish the lock. So five, is that enough? Maybe, I don't know. Um, that's not really enough for a ladder to get up. Let's leave an extra space. Or two. Sure. Okay. So, um, what's the normal overheat temperature of a ladder? Fourteen hundred. Fine. That works fine. Not a question. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Okay. And we'll just build a little way across the top so they can start laying out whatever we need here. So each of these, these are not actually metal. I thought they were. Uh, so what do I want to make these out of? Granite would be overheat temperature. That's also overheat. I could make it out of ceramic and then it would not overheat. Apparently it would have decor also. <laughs> it's actually not that much ceramic. We have a ton of ceramic, but I think I'd rather save it for pipes. So we'll just make it out of the igneous rock that's made out of, or granite. 
granite or igneous? Igneous is overheat, granite is also overheat. This is slow heating though. So, yeah, let's go with slow heating. What's their piping look like? Okay. So... I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. We'll have a... Like... I don't think I'm going to have more than one of these under operation at any one moment anyway, so I think it's okay to just join them all onto the same loop rather than give each one its own loop, you know? So ceramic pipes this will be the cool Hot is going to come out this way. And, and, well, actually, we'll bring it right up the middle. I like that. So, we're going to have a reservoir right there, I guess. Let's build that. A liquid reservoir. It doesn't need to be inside but it doesn't hurt to be inside. So, I think we'll go with that. <laughs> um, so I need to, to bring this insulated pipe up into this input. What about all this automation tech? What's the um, final temperature on that? So if we were just like put down there, it would be a thousand. Yeah, it's fine. So um here, you can run while I'm while I'm doing this. Sorry, stinky, I got you sick. So we're gonna want liquid shutoffs. Um so water's gonna become uh oil is going to be coming out here and it's either going to keep it's either going to go down back to these or it's going to keep going in this loop so we'll put the um the sensor right here and i guess we want radiant liquid pipes inside here. That's the whole idea, is we're trying to shed heat into this steam. So, put that like this, then uh, some of it's going to go this way. So this is going to be the cool, the cool enough heat, I suppose. The cool enough oil. I should say. It's not actually going to be cool. It's going to be at like 200 degrees Celsius, but it's not going to be wrecking these machines. Whereas the stuff that's too hot needs to, needs to go around in a loop for a bit. So we'll have some automation. We'll need a knot gate like usual. Should we do it here, perhaps? Um, how do I want to do this? Uh, yeah, yeah, Stinky, no, everyone knows you're sick. Quit complaining. So, we'll make the condition, is it cool enough? Is it below, uh, well? Yeah. Okay, so if it's not cool enough, then go up like this. And some automation. Uh, 
the first little bit of it is going to be too hot, but I don't think it's going to that's going to be a, a too big of a problem because I think each of them have their own little storage, so that will keep them they'll average when the when before they are able to go. I think. Okay. Um, what pipes did I make these? That I made them radiant pipes out of gold. Yeah. Okay. That's what we want. What's the... They can go up to a thousand, so that's fine. So, go up that way, or go down here, and then we'll go back to... Cer um, should it be ceramic? Yeah, we don't want to shed heat down here, is what I'm getting at. So, we're going to want ceramic down there. Uh, for this bit... Although, actually, we're going to want to cool up here, too. So, this will be part of the loop. That's going to be part of the loop. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I don't want it like this. Because we need to cool these machines. Uh, just the pipes. So this will be part of the cooling loop. Like this. Uh, the input's kind of kind of cool by itself, also. So no, never mind. That was fine. Let's put that back. Uh, how did this become an insulated pipe of granite? I said I wanted this out of ceramic. Uh, just redo all the piping. I don't even know what happened there. So this will be in gold up there, ceramic down here. Does that make sense? It's going to be hotter up here. But this is where you want it to shed, so it makes sense. Okay. So... This will be the relatively cool um, temperature. So this should come up here and cool up here. Keep it below... Keep it at 125 at least. And then come down here and go into these machines. I think that's the idea. Oh, all thundery outside. Did you, I don't know if you could hear that. So, yeah, we made this already. Here, get rid of this. The pipes. Um, sorry, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out as I go, so it's not always go, going for the best. I should just commit. Okay, so we have insulated pipes out of ceramic down here. Just like we had before, just do it like this. That's the output. The output's going this way. It's really hot. Uh, no. The output can go around this way. It's really hot. Well, no, we can go up this way. That works. We'll have to wait for this to get replaced, and then we'll redo that. In the meantime, we're going to have to hop over it. See, the, the issue here is that this isn't going to be a loop. The cool is not a loop. The hot is a loop. So... Do we want a second set of materials, even? Like, I'm trying... Hmm. Hmm. What we want is for cool things to come out of here, or relatively cool things, into these five. Hmm. So... To get the hot thing, uh, but the cool thing isn't going to be a loop. It's just going to go to here. It might not even be cool by the time it gets there because it's going to be he heated up by uh, just being around these machines. Um, 
That's why we're using ceramic insulated. And I have to admit, that takes a lot of ceramic. We might need more. But we're all trying to avoid too much heat transfer to these machines. So I think this loop has to be really short. So just like this. Oh, that's why we ended up using granite. It just switched to it automatically when we ran out of uh, ceramic. So keep making ceramic, guys. It's going, I guess. No workable order. It's going. Yeah, sometimes I begin to doubt myself, but it was the game being weird. Okay. So this is coming out. It's going to go straight down into these several things. Meanwhile, what's this? That's a thing that can go away. Meanwhile, we have this this cooling loop of really hot gas, a really hot um, oil, which is going to go through here. And should it go in there too? I guess we might need a separate loop. Because this gas is going to be, this this oil is going to be at 300. We're going to say it's going to be at 300. So I don't want to send it up, and that's what's going to be in the loop until it gets cold enough. In which case, it's just going to go and sit and waiting in line. Uh, so we never get an opportunity to use the 150ish, the 150ish uh, oil. So how are we going to cool down the machines? We could just drop a lump of ice in between them. Ah, oh, dear. I think I'm going to need an aqua tuner. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to need an aqua tuner for this. Uh, because there's no way to force this to be colder than this air in here. Do I really? Do I really? I really don't want it. Let's not do it and see how hot this gets. If this starts getting really hot, then we can, um, then we can, well, it's just going to keep getting hotter and hotter. What's the, I guess, I guess we can make this part of the loop and then just put strict controls on it. So instead of being able to get to, um, 500, like I was thinking, we could just get it up to 200. And then if it tries to go hotter than that, it will go into the loop as as extra heat at 200. So this will always be really hot in here. I pity this guy who's going to have to come in and, and whack at the machine for a little bit, but um, it should be okay. So I'm sorry, I've just been staring at the screen for quite a while, haven't I? Keep on laying out the ceramic. Did that work? No, that was granite again. And that's ceramic, ceramic, ceramic. We just, it takes a lot of ceramic. Anyway, uh, so for this, this gold stuff, we're gonna need a lot more gold because we're gonna want a full loop of this. So if it comes out of here, it's too hot. And the first thing we're gonna do is just run it around like this. There, we ran out of gold already. <laughs> okay, make some more gold. New printables. Some hatch things. Or another way of putting that. Some meat.
<laughs> Poor guy. You just dropped a surf and turf right there on the ground. That's 18,000 kilocalories. Losing freshness. There you go. No, it's still right here. Oh well. Uh, see, that's the difference between the new ones and the old ones. Look how slow he was getting to bed. He's got some skill points. I should uh, actually assign them. Otto, you're also a rancher. More thunder. And this is all waiting for materials. Which we knew about. That's fine. Nothing is happening over here. Food is decayed. A bristleberry. That's fine. I might just want to turn off food production for a little bit. I mean, I'm, I've got quite a bit of it. It seems a little unnecessary. Here. Yeah, 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 don't mind. Oh, actually, they haven't been able to get out to that one. Nah, I don't really care. Here, just cancel that. We can't even see it most of the time. <laughs> alright, alright. So, do we have any more ceramic yet? Enough for another couple of these. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is slow going, I swear. But it'll all work out. This is the whole... Look at that melting point. But really, it's the thermal conductivity that I'm looking for. I don't want this hot water, hot um, oil, to heat up this machine and the dupe that's going to be sitting in front of it. So, it'll take some time. But it's worth doing. Okay. Okay. And we have a little more gold. Uh, I'm trying to decide whether I want to make it expandable or get it all done now. I probably want to get it all done now. Which is a shame. It's going to be a little annoying to do. You know what? We got a lot of water down here. we don't <laughs> get rid of more of it. <laughs> I think this is going to suffice for a little bit. It's going to take a while to heat up this huge body of water. So I think we can just use this to get some gold. Maybe. First, please. And that will give us the materials we need to build the rest of this. Because otherwise, we're going to be smacking away at this button for the entire time and wasting half of our gold ore, turning into sand. Rotten stuffed berry! That's terrible! 
Why is this happening? Uh, do refrigerators not keep things fresh without power? Unrefrigerated, but it should be sterile atmosphere, so yeah. Yeah, okay, it's fine. It's just not getting in here for some reason. Here, first priority. Get the good food in there. Don't leave stuff over here. Max, what are you thinking? I'm gonna let someone else come in here. Gene, you can help out. Because Max is incapable of moving his own stuff. There you go. an awful lot of stuff. Actually, we're running a little low on stuffed berries. But we've got plenty of the crystal berries and the crystal berries and all that. Um, but I guess this isn't hurting anything to do that. Like, this doesn't even seem to need anybody around. It just... I guess I have to throw it in now and then. Uh, we could automate that. Like, how big of it is its pool? No, it's got plenty. Well, actually, it's, it's going to go through that pretty quick. Let's go ahead and build a sweeper. So, I need a bunch. Oh, oh, that's a problem. This needs iron, of course, and we have, like, no iron. Like, we can barely make, we don't even have any iron. Well, okay, we got seven tons. Never mind. At one point, we had, like, no iron, or no, But we might end up deconstructing some things so we could turn them in, so we could get some more iron out of it. Here. technically we could just do something like this the entire time also and just use one of these big pools of water and treat it as a heat sink like it's it does make sense to do it that way but that's too simple I want something nice and complicated here can you get to this if we put that there You. You're quite a climber. Does not fix things. It's combining fine. It just still needs more O2. Uh, maybe I should just get a regular gas pump. So a regular gas pump is 500, right? Uh, yeah, 500 per second. Whereas these mini ones are 50 a second. So I think I probably need a, a full one.
Alright. New printables! And more food decaying. I'm so disappointed in Max. I was relying on him. Alright, and go ahead and put some coal in here. Is this going again? Oh, it's, yeah, there we go. Next dormancy in 89 cycles, so we got a whole another 80 cycles to get the other one online. Yeah, it's already going again. Great. So our coal down here should be almost certainly turned off until it gets like really low. Let's put this even lower. 10%. Don't put any power in unless you absolutely have to. Which you do at times, still. I guess I could put another hydrogen thing up here, but that's fine. Uh, still waiting for materials. Insufficient oxygen, but we're close, so I'm not that worried. It's going back to being a nice blue. That's a little bit of its darker blue, but that's okay. We are still using up our um, algae. It's almost completely gone. We're going to have to keep that in mind. Come on, guys. Get this going. Awaiting power, awaiting coolant, awaiting coal. Coal, please. Uh, I guess I should put a battery here and automate it and all that sort of thing. I mean, it was, it's intended to be temporary. This is temporary. It's just it's taking up some time. Otherwise, we'll go through our coal too fast. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now we've got some coolant. Here, prioritize this so we're not wasting our coal. And prioritize this so we're not sitting around. There we go. Someone's coming to do with it. I'm kind of curious about the temperature, too. So it's got an internal storage of... Interesting. It's got two sets of salt water. Maybe it's got like the current being used and then twice as much as a backup or something. I don't know. Don't know why that turned off. Disable by automation grid. Sure. Here. And get it up to 40. Of course, we actually need the wires so that it communicates. Is someone coming to do with this? Oh, it was Otto. He's just crawling very slowly to it. And now it's the wrong day. Burning through our coal to no purpose. No, red alert this. Get this going. I want this wire mid. You're not allowed to sleep. Get the wire mid. Wire. Not the coal, the wire. No one's doing it. Maybe... Wait a minute. There's one already there. Never mind. Go to, go to sleep. Go to sleep. It was just running behind. But... Oh, it's the... It was the... Never mind. You have to come back. 
It's this wire. That's not there. <laughs> so red alerts this. And turn this off entirely for now. So. Ah. Uh, how do I make it just not go? <laughs> I want you to. I guess you have to have some power available and then I could get below it, but I can't get below zero. Get this built! Now, we just wasted a thousand coal. Oh my god, disable the building. No one's bringing the wire over. Well, we just wasted a ton of coal on doing absolutely nothing because nobody wanted to bring the wire. And it's because it's stored way down there. And food keeps decaying. This is awful. I guess because we're not letting people in anymore. Uh, just let everyone in. That, that wasn't solving any problems. Weird things going on here. I should mop some of this up. There we go. They made the thing. So, stop it, start at 10, stop at 40. Enable building. And now get some of this gold made, please. So this is filling up the reservoirs, slowly. So I could put another natural gas generator in this room and uh, potentially get some more power out of this. But ah, uh, it's not big a deal. This is what hatches are for, right? Uh, fill up the coal. Why is nobody working on this? It's Otto. Otto! Okay, Otto, you're not allowed in here. How do I... Otto, uh, your priorities. Until you get good, you are not allowed to do anything. Except for ranch. That's your only job. I guess you could do at a very low priority storing and supplying. But yeah, Otto, you need another few hundred cycles to get good before you're able to be of help. So now Gene is coming in to do this. Perfect. I think Gene's like really good at operating. I'm not going to zip through it. There she comes. And starts churning out. Gene, I am disappointed. <laughs> I just can't win. Can't win, you know? Can't win. Look at all these bristle berries. That's because we're not letting anyone in. Yeah, let people in. Let people harvest. Our food supply just dropped by like a hundred calories. 
from that 100... 100,000 kilocalories, which is quite a magnitude of difference from 100 calories. Um, <laughs> from our little experiments in closing doors. And we're having power problems still. It's not good. At least our cooling loop happens without much power needs. It does need the valves to work. But even if they close for a little bit, there's like gaps that could fill in. All right. Yes, I know you have long commutes. Rot pile is no longer edible. How circuit overloaded? How much do these require? Twelve hundred. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So. Just running that's going to overload the circuit. We're going to have to use conductive. Not to mean, not to mention that we can't even get it uh, working <laughs> with just a single coal, because that only use only produces 600 watts. But hey, look, we got some refined gold. And it's releasing water at only 37. Interesting. I thought it would be hotter. So it went from 31 to 37. It's definitely an improve in a um, increase in the temperature, but it's not like a crazy increase. Oh. Yeah, we can start bringing some water in, too. Circuit overloading still. Let's just disable it and now, for now, disable when we get the better wires. <laughs> it hasn't paid for itself yet. But that's okay. I'm sure it will in time. Keep on making some gold down here too. Just a little bit. Now oh, we are. Okay. But we're running a little low. I'm getting worried about just how much we're committing of our metal without a, mo a lot of incoming stuff. Like, there's still some gold amalgam we can dig out up here. We might need to go for it just to get some more metal. In terms of iron, uh, there's not a lot of iron on this map. Like, we're going to have to really start scraping bottom of the barrel to get the iron we need. There's a bunch of iron down a uh, little bit right there, but that's really close to this other natural gas, so I've been avoiding it. Got a bit more gold amalgam down here. feels like poverty, I have to say. <laughs> There's a bunch of um, diamond and iron ore there, but 
There's zombie things too. Zombie spores. Makes me nervous. What is this? I'm not sure I've seen this one. Let's find out. It is polluted water. That's so boring. We've got like so many different water and steam vents. I want like something interesting, like a iron volcano or something that we can use to get all the iron we need. Uh, there's a lot in this area, so eventually we'll have to go down into here just for the iron and diamond. But since most of it's this horrible saltwater place, it's, um, we just we don't have anything here. There's no metals. Rare metal poor. Ooh, there's another cold biome up here. Interesting. I didn't know there was a cold biome. I thought this was just going to be a uh, continual... Is that slime? Yeah, there's potentially some more, more gold up here. Okay. More iron there. And of course, on the surface, there's potentially lots of things. You can see a bit of iron in places. <laughs> there is a lot of the maps still to explore. Okay. Uh, I should stop whining. This is all replaced. Go ahead, turn this back on. And go ahead and set this just to go all the way up till it's pretty full. There. How much... I'm out of cool entirely. Yeah. Well... We might end up having to run around on wheels to make this work. You know, there's oxygen here. It's not very breathable, but it's breathable. I'm just gonna let them in this way. So, in the future, in the future, we're gonna have to build an Atmo suit dock, like, for this area. So that they don't go in there and get fried. But for now, I just want them coming in here without needing power. Why are we having so many power problems when this is going? I mean, that's the whole entire idea was that this is gonna, this is gonna save us. It's gonna give us so much more power than we need. Maybe the fertilizer thing is taking up more than we think it's going to be. What, what is our power use doing? The natural gas generator, that's the production. Usage. Lamp. Auto sweepers. That's only jewels. Never mind. Uh, gas pumps. Incubators. We could turn off the incubators. And the fertilizers. Um, the ceiling lights are actually kind of a thing. The space heater. Everything else is minor. So yeah, turn this off. Disable that. I don't want to turn off our food production, but I'll turn off the space heater. So we already have quite a few pinch of pepper nuts. Um, turn off the incubators. I don't know, like, a couple hours ago, I felt so much more confident in our base. I was like, so we've solved all our problems, now we can just shoot for the end game. But no, now suddenly we're having, like, really basic problems with metal supply, power to heat our life support. All these sort of problems. I don't know. It feels like I just can't win, you know? Oh well. Uh, 
they might be able to get that from there. I don't know. Let's see. I think it should be okay. Nope. <laughs> Go one further, please. And this is actually a bit too far, so they can't go between these two. We'll have to build another one in the middle. Because I had screwed up laying it out. Never mind, they were fine. Out of coal. <sighs> Food decaying. Yeah, it's like I... Hmm, hmm. It's all slipping away, you know? I mean, we're not in danger of dying, but we're in danger of losing our ability to progress. And that's the real thing I'm concerned about. Because, um... I guess I could be less ambitious and just get one of these going, but I hate to do that. That seems really unfortunate. I want this to be just to solve our problems, you know? Because I think it's going to be self-powering. Because the heat they generate should be enough to keep the steam turbine going for more power than it takes to run these machines. So that will be awesome. And it will let us just get a ton of steel, a kind of ton of copper. It'll be great. It'll be amazing. Guess what, guys? We're going to start running on a wheel. Where's all our ceramic? Like... Oh yeah, no coal. So no more ceramic. Huh. We have a bunch. But I'm not sure enough. we have enough that's not committed. But in a way, this, this bit can be done piecemeal. Oh, once we get like one or two of these going, that'll be fine. That'll be sufficient. Uh, yeah. Just get two of these done. That would be perfect. So, cancel all this. Two is enough to set the pattern. Three would be even better. Yeah, let's go for three. And the whole idea of this is it's going up here into there. That's enough. We have enough ceramic for that. They still haven't delivered any water. Let's make this slightly higher priority, perhaps. Ah. Uh. Did I screw up my airlock? Should it be one tile deeper? It is. I did screw it up. Um, this is fixable. So we'll just put something there, put something there. And then get rid of this square for now. So they can get inside. There we go. I think, I hope it maintains progress. I think it does. So once we fill this up enough again, He'll be able to come down and keep it going more. He's just really super inefficient. <laughs> I 
Uh, we're starting to get a little low on oxygen. Down to 980. Did we run out of algae? No, we're still good. We're still with algae. But it's not being delivered. It's a bit of a concern. We made all this refined coal I don't really need yet. Eventually we will, but not now. So turn this off. We don't really need any more ceramic for a little bit. Did you guys end up digging this out a little bit more? Yeah, they're coming in trying to get some stuff. Just having access to things up here would probably be good. It'll add it to our totals. Okay. Run on the wheel, please. Hey, we finally got the steam turbine going. Okay. Let's add... I need to remember not to screw this up, so we're going to need a vent for the steam turbine. To get the water out. And this does not need to be out of ceramic. This can be out of anything. Igneous rock is fine. This is going. We're slowly working our way towards not having something that's not terrible. <laughs> We're gonna need to suck all the air out of this, so we should build a gas pump. And we'll just vent it right outside. We'll eventually need to put uh, water inside this. But we'll pump it in, because we'll need like a quantity of it. Maybe not. Maybe I could just put one of these in there and just fill up the floor with a bit of water. Yeah, that's enough for the bottle emptier. I screwed that up. I just deleted a pipe. Let's go ahead and rebuild one inside. Might as well. It's gonna need power. Eventually this is all gonna need to be conductive because uh, it's gonna be a problem. Why is this one so much bigger than that one? I don't know. Like, look at this power consumption. Uh, how are we gonna do that? Hmm, hmm. That needs to be heavy watts. Heavy watt wire. And we are going through our gold amalgam pretty damn fast. So... Just like this, run straight through. Maybe right here. I'm gonna pick two in here, so maybe this like right here is good. That'll be between them. Minimize our difference distance. Should I do the conductive heavy watt? That would be up to twenty kilowatts at a time, but so is so is the regular one. It's just prettier, right? Yeah. I don't know, I'm a little skeptical of the idea that, that one of these steam turbines can power 
multiple of these. I guess only if one of them is running at once, it'll be fine. Because this will get tuned and it'll be 12, 15, 12, it'll be 13. And then it can power this stuff and then that. And one of these. Nah, it's okay. It'll be good for the automation, doing it this way. Because we can just set one of them to run forever. Okay. Yeah, we're starting to build up a decent amount of gold here. That's what we needed. New printables. Some muckroot that I don't need. Critter starvation. I didn't even know you were alive. Let's kill it. Forgiveness? <laughs> ah, ah, you ate the meat! You ate the meat. We got a lot of hatches in there. Uh, and they're all tamed, too. Interesting. Because they were um, hatched from eggs. Incubated from eggs. But these are fine. You know what? Let's get a big chunk of meat. Hey, that coming gave me forgiveness. Good for you, man. There we go. Bunch of meat. Look at this stuff. Smooth hatch things. They look weird. Kill it. Not you. Not you. Not you. Kill the smooth one. Damn, they've got a lot of health. Maybe leave it alone. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Look, what is this? 400 health. These have 25. The stone ones have 200. Okay. I guess. I guess that's okay. Sorry. Ignore that. <laughs> uh, you guys should get these. All these sage hatches. Like, I don't think they can even eat anything that's down here. Probably not anymore. If they were down here, they could eat the meal lice. Are they not getting this? Come on, guys. It's like level 9. We've got a lot of omelets all of a sudden. Yeah, most of our edible food is good stuff. Stuffed berries. Although it's going stale. Why is it so stale? Because it was sitting on the ground for a bit because I screwed up our priorities. Okay, get some water, please. Actually, don't do that yet. Don't do anything. Because that's going to interfere with um, the gas pump. Wrong thing. It's just 
easier to do it this way rather than uh, rather than using a separate substation to make it safer. And let's go ahead and use a regular wire to put it in. <laughs> At least use a conductive wire. Okay. You know, I wonder if I should have just put these down here, because this seems to be working really well. We're barely heating this up. Doesn't really seem the virtue of doing it up there. Well, I guess I guess the virtue of getting doing it up here is we're keeping all the heat. Uh, so we can use it for the steam turbine, so it powers itself. That's the whole idea of it. So never mind. I was thinking that I was being wasteful, but instead we're going to have to supply uh, 12,000, 1200 joules per second of pr production. Yeah, that would be a bit obsessive. Uh, excessive. This is all stopped. We do have a bit of coal coming back. It's mostly running this. Which is for the good. So I'm going to set that to 75. And set you to 35. Sure. Sorry if this is painful. It feels painful to me. It feels like I've, I should be able to just knock this out. And in the future... Hope they'll have enough metals that I can just knock stuff out. But I didn't plan this as well as I could have. What's this? Is this something? That's probably... I'm sure I've looked at it before, but let's take a look again. I should just go out there and look at it so I can actually, like, be able to see it. A natural gas geyser! Another one! That's going to be some more power. Well, that's something to keep in mind. I'm not sure we did see that one before. Well, that's worth keeping in mind. Okay, we grabbed everything easily accessible in here. <laughs> we kind of... Here, we got a bunch of coal in here too we can grab. There's actually a bunch of iron ore in here. <sighs> We're gonna need to break through this and get this stuff. It's just, it's too important. You can see this is where there should have been an abyssalite breaking these two into um, separate biomes, but like, there's a little bit of it right there. But the guys are interrupted. So it ended up getting combined into both the top and below. Anyway, we'll deal with that in the future. I got some bit of power from the steam engine. That's to the good. This is still not going. It just seems to take a long time to get everything out here that we need. That's unreachable, so that's why that's not going. All the ceramic is done for the first three at least. Got a decent amount of gold. We could do more of this piping, I suppose. The radium piping is so expensive. Like if we were just to do regular liquid, regular piping, that would just be so much easier. But I kind of want to do it. I want to kind of, I want to make this happen. So, 
skip some space there. That's 500. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch back to insulated for one tile. <laughs> And then go back to spending the gold. Just for a single loop. Across here. So this is as cool as it can get. After doing all this heat exchanging. Now we have to just send it back into the reservoir. And that's all the gold we have. Okay. Keep it up. I say as if clicking the button's gonna help. <laughs> we do have an our exosuit to sit on the floor out there. Do I need it anywhere? This needs a exosuit. Somebody left theirs. They're probably probably wearing it somewhere. <laughs> How are we doing on travel time compared? Uh, it's down to 49. That's better than it used to be. And we're mostly just traveling to build things, which I approve of. Generating power. Yeah, we're back to running on wheels a lot. Cooking, ranching, fabricating. Tending. What's tending? Hmm. Tending to people who are hurt, maybe? I don't know. Because the grooming counts as... as um, does not count as tending. That counts as ranching. I believe. I don't know. I could disable the auto sweepers, but I feel like I'm already sitting around waiting for dupes long enough. Hey, some water, sure. Yeah, we're making some progress. Another four steps. Let's make a bridge. Hopefully, the bridge uh, has. Let's see. We could make it out of sediment. What kind of requirements does it have? It's melting points 900. That's fine. That's not a concern. Food is decaying. Rotten meal ice. What a shame. counting each one of these. We have one, two, three, four more, uh, maybe just three to get back to there. And then I think we could actually start pumping in some oil to get it started. This is still all breathable. We need to pump out the gas. Is that not working? I guess we have been pumping it out. It's down to micro to milligrams. Okay, that's good. But I'm regretting not setting one of these up earlier. I feel like we probably wasted too much of our ore in the rock crusher. So that uh, we lost half of its value into a uh, sand. And we've got plenty of sand. We don't need more sand. We're well overdone with sand. Anything else easily accessible? We could go up on this side. Yeah, let's do that. So.
Let's not let that morb out. If we can avoid it. Instead, we will simply flood our base with chlorine. That's how I deal with the slime line. trying to uproot this for like ages and just not been able to. We could just plant something right here, I guess. Get rid of this. I kind of don't want to. That would ruin this room, I think, and then I wouldn't be able to tune it anymore. So never mind. That's where all our refined metal is going. It's sitting in these, these, uh, these power control stations. Although apparently this doesn't have any. Uh, don't do iron, do gold. We need to get that as a high priority. This is, putting more into here is probably more important than building a narrow pipe or two. Crater starvation. That's not good. Here, we should have plenty of sedimentary rocks. Just get it fed in here. Yeah, we've been neglecting these. I mean, there's plenty of rocks over here. This is actually full, almost. I'm kind of inclined to stop doing... No, keep it going. <laughs> I just, I don't want stuff to rot. Here, we'll stop making the, um, the inputs for a little bit. So, disable that. And then we'll just see what happens. We'll let, when it gets down to 200 or so, we'll turn it back. This needs to be powered. Run on the wheel, please. And this would be perfect having that shine bug down here, because that does have a progress bar. We have enough. Perfect! And I think that'll work. I think so. I hope. We put a lot of supplies into it. I guess we could make this... Eh, it doesn't matter. Um, we need a door. Why am I not putting a door here? No, I should put into the tile there eventually. But here we need a door, because we're actually going to go in and mess with it. Um, yeah, we still need to pull this out. We need power, run on the wheel. I already said that. We've got some rotting something, polluted dirt here. Nobody wants to run the wheel. Bonnie is coming to do it. Good for you. 
We need some nice vacuum in here. Uh, eventually, we'll pump in... Uh, what are we pumping in here? Uh, water. Of course, because it needs to turn to steam. So I guess it really doesn't have to be vacuum. It'd be better, because otherwise, like, there might be a bubble of polluted oxygen or something blocking one of the intakes. That would be bad. But, um, it doesn't have to be empty. But we're down to the milligrams. I think it's fine. I suppose I could connect it up and just let that power it. How do we suddenly have 14 tons? Okay. I was like, we have 14 tons because we suddenly have access to all this. Yeah, nice. That's going to be a big help. Uh, we're going to need a central thing going up here. These could be one further apart, but that makes too much sense. And there we are, this big chunk of iron. We can that will turn into be turned into steel at some point. spitting out a decent amount of gold. I kind of like this. It seems like it, it happens really fast as long as we have the power for it. Uh, down to milligrams. 10 milligrams of things. Some micrograms in parts. New principles? Bunch of seeds I'll never use. Interesting. Uh, you are actually taking HP damage? No, you're just getting out of breath. Yeah, this isn't breathable down here. Is this generating CO2? I don't think so. No, just the salt water. You can see that difference there. It goes from 31 to 37. That's not that, not that big. I thought it was going to go like plus 30 degrees. And for oil, it'll be even less, right? Let's see. The specific heat capacity of, oil, of this is 4.1. That's actually really high. Um, of the oil, it's only 1.6. So the oil is going to heat up more. But the, the, this will be allowed to heat up more. If we tried to use the salt water, it would break all our pipes as we transitioned it um, to steam. We haven't done the logic here, so I am going to want some automation. Uh, how are we going to do that? So, hmm. How are, what's the um, tolerance of these things? A thousand. That's fine. So we can do it down here. So we're going to want these to activate if... Uh, we're going to put a battery here. No, we're going to put batteries in between the two? Was that the plan? Now that doesn't fit anymore. Mm, then we wouldn't have enough for... We could put the battery outside. So yes, this will be where the battery goes. We'll deconstruct that.
I might as well put another one of these plates here because we're gonna need to we're gonna want to link this into the rest of our base at some point anyway. But yeah, we're going through this ore more than I want. That might get in the way of being able to build the power thing I need. Uh, the station. Nope. Nope. That works fine. What's this? Uh, a ridiculously high melting point, so that's fine. Okay, uh, we'll build a smart battery right here. And this whole thing where we built that wire, that was never a good idea. So just get rid of that. Instead, we'll build one of these, a heavy watt wire from copper ore. I'll wait for this to go away first. Did we get this tuned? Uh, no. First priority, man. Get this first priority. No available errands? We have plenty of microchips there. Look at that, five microchips. Why aren't you actually using them? Uh, who is our guy with tune-up? It's this, right? No, it's no this. So someone with electrical with operating two. We got four people with operating two. Somebody should be handling that. Oh, it's over here. I get it. I get it. We don't make this building higher. We make this building higher. Yeah, so Gene's on it. Where you at, Gene? Nope. Now she got pulled off into somewhere else. Can I up priority? No, it doesn't have a priority to it. I just won't get to it when they get to it. <laughs> I guess. down to our last bit of ox algae. Although we do have a lot of slime. We could always <laughs> compress some of that slime into algae if we need. Uh, we've got a decent amount of gold down here. What do we have left to do? We just need to get some of these wires. Uh, do we have vacuum in here yet? So this can go away, and we can get rid of all the pumps. Like if I wanted to, I could put hydrogen in here so that it cools down better, this bit. But I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it as oxygen. Out of laziness. Okay, let's start adding water. High priority. Get some water in here. Uh, I was gonna do some automation logic. So there are gonna be two reasons for this to run. This is gonna run if it's getting really hot. If it's getting too hot, then we're gonna have to run. So we're gonna say getting too hot means over 300. How about that? Maybe over 250. That might be safer. So over 250. Over. So it goes at 125. I'm assuming that if I. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't really tell me. Like I assume if you put it in hotter, it does better. But maybe I'm wrong. 
because really what it's doing is not doesn't really need the steam it needs the heat but maybe maybe it doesn't matter what it goes up at hmm okay so it's more simple then we'll just need to see if the temperature out here is over 125 or if this battery over there is okay so the either the hmm, hmm. the idea is we we want to turn it off when the battery is full unless it's getting too hot so what we want is this says to go or this says to go so it's a simple or gate yeah I was thinking this was going to be more complicated than it actually turned out to be. So, we don't have enough power, or it's too hot, then you have to run. Okay. I just want to get kind of the bottom of this. Uh, we can start getting the oil ready. Let's run that in. So we have some oil way down here. In this pump. Which has just been sitting down here forever. For a long time. We did drain it back in. We need to turn that off. So let's make that a high priority thing. Eventually that's going to turn back on, and it will start sending oil up to here where nothing will happen. And then we'll need to snake it up all the way to here. complicate using these in the future but that's okay just bring it like that run it down starting to get a little complicated over here so we're gonna have to hop over several things this is a temporary pipe so it's uh, we're not gonna need a continuous supply we just need to fill up that reservoir let's go in this way we have a hole there already So that's bringing it all the way up to here. And I said we just need to fill that reservoir, which is really the case. So I think I can just feed it onto that using a bridge. I hope that'll work. It should always fail. We gotta make sure that this automation isn't gonna work. Actually, no, it's gonna succeed. We're gonna send a bunch of really cool oil over here. So it should always be yes right now. So that'll be work fine. New printables. We got some fried mushrooms, some free food. It's a rot right there. Yeah, we still got plenty of food. You know, we could live on omelets. I think we're producing enough creatures, enough eggs, that we could just live on omelets without any trouble at all. I feel a little bad for this hatch. <laughs> it's slowly dying, maybe? Or no, its calories will die at some point? They'll fall at some point? I don't know. And then it will die? I don't know. Not my problem. Just make kind of a bit of an annoying noise. This is mostly full. That's good. These are tuned. Good. Absolutely need that tuned. 
That's like the majority of the power we're producing, right? So, yeah. 560 of all our power was produced by the gas generator. The steam turbines are terrible. Running on the, uh, the wheel is actually more than them. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. 2,000 gold down there. That's working just fine. Just we're letting all that heat escape, which is very sad. Very sad. Okay, we got about 120 kilograms. And how many tiles is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's not enough. I want to, um, I want to at least get up to 1.5. Um, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Keep on spilling water in here, please. Like, you left some right here. You can just throw that on. Why is this so cold? Is that 16 degrees? Because it's in vacuum. Maybe? No. No? I don't know. Where's my oil? Should be oil coming. I guess they're building it still. That's activated. So as soon as this first set of pipes get ma gets made, It'll start coming up to there. Are these reachable? They should be. If you can shimmy along here. I could swear we had some curative tablets. Somebody must be eating them. In fact, they all must be eating them. Yeah, they're all... Uh, they're all set to all do it. Nah, well... Six tons of plastic! That's a lot of plastic. I wonder if I should be doing something with that, like making more of these plastic ladders? So we can do more of this work up here all the time? Like, we do have a lot of travel. This would get us going a little faster. Might help. Oh, Puffs, you don't want to be in here. How'd this happen? Puffs. No. No, this is not a good idea. Um. Screen door? You know, did we just. How are they getting in here? They're. running across ladders, I guess. Uh, just trying to speed the way a little bit. Where's my oil? It should be coming. No power. Yeah, we just kind of left it. <laughs> uh, it can borrow from up here. These two are making me a little nervous. They're like making noise all the time. Why don't we just kill them? Slowly, slowly, slowly. There we go. No, there's still another one. No, it, it gave me forgiveness. What I need to do is let them go into our kill... Well, no, I kind of want them to be wrangled. That makes it easier. Because <laughs> they've got quite a bit of health. Alright. Ah, 
uh, we're getting close to the end of this build. I'm liking it. So it's up to 200k in each square. So that's getting better. I want it to be a bit more full. Okay. I'm almost hesitant to turn it on and give it a try. Should we... Uh... I need the oil first, though, so I have some time to complain about that. Do we have this going yet? Where's my power? Here, prioritize. Are these guys unhappy? They are, because of this egg. This Dracklet egg. Why are we not requesting the eggs? Because they're the wrong type of eggs, I guess. I didn't think I'd get... Not glossies, but I did. And similarly, I guess we should look for... Sage hatchlings and smooth hatchlings. There we go. Oil? Oil! Nice. Okay. So it's coming in pretty cool. It's gonna fill up this reservoir. It's gonna fill up all of these with a couple layers of, um, uh, a couple, what's it? A couple, um, uses. That's what it seemed like it did down here. So it's got, like, the, the stuff that's going right now and then like a bit of backup supply. I think that's how it works. So once that's there, we can... Uh, did I automate this yet? Did I... I did. So we need to specify the numbers. So run if the battery charge is less than 80. Uh, no, well, put it at 90 and you can run as long as you're below 70. Because I want it to run like all the time. So you're sending a green signal right now, I hope. Enabled by automation grid. And this is going to send a signal if this gets above 300. That's when we have to start worrying about how hot it is. So as soon as this gets above 300, even if this is full, we're going to let it run. Now that's been tuned up. Looks like we're all ready to go. Let's get this out of here. Um, yeah, we can see the oil's going through. We'll want this to accumulate a bit more in here. The sensor, the threshold, so when do we want it cool? We want it cool, it can't cool below the, this temperature that's gonna be in here. And this temperature can at most get down to 125. And we said to keep it below 300, let's keep it below 275. So then if this is below we're allowed to send it out if it's below 275, I guess. Hopefully that's not going to melt anything on the way. Uh, so it's if it's above 275, you have to send it through cooling. I had it backwards. Uh, no, I had it wrong. So if it's below 275, then you can send it through this way. There you go. I guess I could put some temp shift plates in here too. Let's see, that would be... 
And it says it has a small area of effect. Apparently it's really cool. Okay, it's, it's vacuum, of course. Uh, so we could put gold for high thermal conductivity. Or ceramic for insulating. Uh, gold amalgam or the actual gold. Gold's better. So, just a few of these. To help shed some of the water, or some of the heat. Although with all these radiant pipes, I'm hoping that this is gonna go really well. Look at that thermal conductivity, 120. The water is the um, problem here, which probably means that it doesn't matter what pipes I use because the water isn't going to be reactive enough to to matter. It's not going to be good enough. It would only matter if we like had metal, like molten molten iron or something. <laughs> that would that would actually have an effect. New printables. Wart seeds. Sure. I did see that there was another coal biome up here. I'm approaching hour 3 on this. I I I know, bear with me. I just want to turn it on and see if it breaks. I don't think it's going to. I know it's not complete yet. I need to get more ceramic so I can do that. And we do have some more coal. Let's put a little bit of ceramic going. Not forever. Just maybe like an hour 30 or 40. But this won't be an issue. We're not going to like drop any of the oil out when we add it to there or when we put it through this way. That'll be fine. This is half full. So the more we have in there, the more it'll act as a sink. But it kind of doesn't matter. Let's just disable this, deconstruct it. We've got enough oil for now. I'm going to leave this oil here because I expect something to go wrong. Uh, we built those. Let's build the main wall. Come on, guys. Wake up. So right now, this isn't connected to anything else. We're going to have to run up a huge heavy watt wire using like a bit of iron ore, the last bits of it we have all the way down here to take advantage of it to that nearest wire there. But let me just see if we are producing net positive. I might just want to keep this separate entirely and then, um, yeah, then we'll just leave it alone until we have, uh, uh, then we can just run, use more natural gas than the other one. Uh, we're kind of getting behind on the oxygen. I know that was a concern. It still is a concern. Come on, what happened to this? You were supposed to keep it tuned. Tune it up. There you go. Okay, that's on. One last thing. And now we just say make a bunch of metal. So you are going to make steel as much as you can. Just whenever possible. So I guess we should make some refined carbon and lime. Just sitting out here somewhere. Uh, in a bin. I should get all the ores. So just, this will be a little ore collection. And this will be the iron itself forever. And this will be uh, gold. I just want to see it go. So, uh, it 
doesn't have any power in it yet, except for what's supplying it from down here, which won't supply it very well. But once it starts going and gets up to, to temperature, I think it will self-sustain. We'll find out. But I think it will. Okay, so... Uh, refined carbon and lime. I have no idea where that is. Where is it? Miscellaneous? No. Manufactured? Lime. And there's the consumable ore. Uh, refined carbon. Okay, so this is coming out. It came, it went in at at 42. That's kind of the temperature of the oil. Apparently it's hotter than that, 54. By the time we did get to it, it's coming back at 112. So yeah, that's quite an increase compared to seawater. Apparently crude oil doesn't hold heat very well. I didn't think of that. Maybe that's... I don't know. Anyway, so now this is at 57, which is still fine. We can still we can still work with that. So keep on building stuff, please. When you wake up. Many time now. All right, I don't want to go past three hours. So I'm going to take a break here. Next time, we'll let this go for a bit. We'll try to figure out some more automation for each of these furnaces. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll see the steam factory, the steam turbine in action. So thank you everyone for watching. Till next time.